Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to see how to solve these proof that questions in trigonometry and while solving, we'll discuss some important strategies to help you solve these questions very easily. So let's start. Friends, in the proof that questions, you are given an equation and you have to show that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. So you can either start with the left hand side expression, do some operations on it so that you get the right hand side or you can start with the right hand side, do some operations so that you get the left hand side, right? So this is the LHS or the left hand side and this is the RHS or the right hand side. Now the very first tip is to read the question properly. Now the left hand side, you have cos theta divided by 1 minus sin theta. There is a division, there is cos and there is sin, right? Now on the right hand side, you have sec theta plus tan theta. So there is a plus sign and you have a sec and you have a tan ratio. Like this, you should read the question. Once you have done that, the second tip is to decide which side to start with. So the general rule is to start with a side which has more terms and more operators in it because that way you'll have more scope of modification, of simplification and of getting the other side. Now coming back to our question, which side do you think has more operators and more terms? Definitely you can see that left hand side has cos, it has 1, minus is there, division is there, sin theta is there. Whereas on the right hand side you just have sec theta plus tan theta. So it's better that we start with the LHS. So let us write that down. LHS is equal to cos theta divided by 1 minus sin theta. So friends we have chosen the side that we are going to start with. Now comes the third tip. Now the third tip is that you need to study what you have and what you want. Now what we have is cos theta divided by 1 minus sin theta and what we want at the end is sec theta plus tan theta. So as you can see there is apparently no connection between these two, right? They look so different. So always keep in mind what you want and with that in mind you should do the steps. Otherwise it's very easy to get lost in these type of questions. Okay, now let's see the left hand side. You have in the denominator friends 1 minus sin theta. Okay, whereas if you see here, what do we want? We have only sec theta plus tan theta. So there is only 1 in the denominator. So somehow I should try to remove the denominator, right? Now, whenever you have friends 1 minus sin theta, whenever you have more than one term in the denominator, it is not really preferable. You know why? Because suppose I have 2 divided by a plus b. What really can I do with this? I really can't, you know, split it up further. On the other hand, if I have something like this, yes, then there is scope. I can write, I can split the fraction and write like this, a by 2 plus b by 2. So let's try to bring something of this type over here also and the best way of doing this is by rationalizing you must have studied rationalizing for square roots so the same technique friends we are going to use here so what we are going to do here is multiply and divide this expression by 1 plus sin theta now why we are choosing this you will know very soon okay so what are you going to do? You are going to multiply and divide by 1 plus sin theta. Now what is happening is that here you have 1 minus sin theta and 1 plus sin theta. Now does this type look very familiar to your friends? Yes. Have you come across this before? Just have a look at this identity. A minus B into A plus B. What is it? Yes, it is A square minus b square you must have learned this before so we have brought this denominator to this form friends so what are we doing we are rationalizing and that's why we have chosen 1 plus sine theta and not 1 minus sine theta again see 1 and 1 is same sine and sine is same you just change the sign okay now unnecessarily friends don't open up the brackets in the numerator so just keep it as it is cos theta into 1 plus sin theta keep it like that only here you're going to apply this formula so what is it going to be in the denominator can you tell me yes 1 square minus 
sin square theta. Just apply the formula. And friends, because it's a theory question, make sure that you write each and every formula that you have used, okay? So, can you tell me what will happen in the next step? 1 square minus sin square theta. Does that look familiar to you, friends? Keep the numerator as it is. Okay, don't do anything. What is 1 minus sine square theta? Yes, it is nothing but cos square theta. You write the uh, reason over here, friends. Now you have cos theta into 1 plus sine theta divided by cos square theta. So is there anything to be cancelled? Definitely. You have 1 cos theta which can be cancelled. Just see, friends. Again, have a look at what you want. You want sec theta plus tan theta. Are we coming closer to that? Definitely, I can say because I have now reduced the denominator from two terms to one term. So, that's a good progress. Okay. Now, let me see what do we end up with. We get 1 plus sine theta divided by cos theta. Now, is it not of the form that we were discussing before, friends? Something like this. Can't I write this as a by 2 plus b by 2? Definitely, right? So, that's what we are going to do here. So, let's write this as 1 by cos theta plus sin theta by cos theta. See friends, we are coming very close to what we want. Now, what is 1 by cos theta? You all know that. Yes, it is sec theta. And what is sin theta by cos theta? Definitely, it's tan theta. And this is your right hand side. So friends, this is how step by step you can solve these proof that questions. So friends, I hope that you found the video useful. If so, please do like and share the video. Do leave your comments in the comment section below. And please do consider subscribing to Enjoy Math. So till we meet again in the next video, take care.